Welcome Taurus to your weekly love reading for January 8th to the 14th of 2017. All right, so this is dealing with your love life. We want to see do the 10 card Celtic cross for you. The Taurus and the 10 card Celtic cross for the Taurus and the January 8th to the 14th of 2018. January 8th of 2018. Taurus and the So we do have the Queen of Swords. So um, some of you may be communicating to another person, or you may not be. Um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but taking the approach of being independent and kind of being a bit more serious when it comes to. How you approach your partner and not um, uh, letting them get over on you for some all right the seven of cups is in reverse so maybe you know kind of confused about certain things but it's like right now i have to make a decision for me even though i may be confused about what to do um it's like kind of moving forward right now you're in a fog it seems to me for some of you um and it's very frustrating i feel um there are some issues that may have come up in the past and sometimes it's like you're dealing with those things that's on your mind so the five of swords is here some frustration maybe some conflict that's going on um gossip different things that you may be expressing social media uh with your romantic partner a lot of issues are going on um, with the five of swords being there the ego is getting in the way um the recent past is the nine of swords in reverse so a lot of stress um trying to get over the stress but it may still be there um, I feel for some of you out there, so I feel like it's kind of coming out of that frustration. Delays with communication it could be blocking somebody, um, just cutting them off, just not saying anything, or someone is doing this to you. Uh, maybe because you feel like you've said enough, uh, enough has been said, and you know you don't want to keep going on and on with certain things. I feel for many of you out there. Now, the near future is the wheel of fortune in reverse so some issues that needs to be you know kind of learned from some lessons that need to be learned with how you approach someone um how someone approaches you and how you may be responding to that person because we do have anytime i see the five of swords a lot of times i see the wheel of fortune in reverse you see um because of what's being said the conflict that you're getting into with another person it just something could be off and it could be more than one person involved in your situation as well all right your energy is coming through with the ten of pentacles though you may be um, around others they may be around you you may be dealing with someone that's very frustrating you may be one of your space um, some of you are shooting for this goal um, some of you are in a marriage you're married and this could be an issue where um, there's some something like temptation or something like that going on if you're in a relationship or married and there are issues with um, your partner asking you questions or vice versa people trying to figure out you know what's going on your intentions and the other way around okay and how others are seeing you the ace of wands so they may see that you're running into someone new that you're passionate about someone it could be a fire sign doesn't have to be it could be anyone um there there's something new that's there um being active maybe a new job excuse me <laughs> being creative um different things are going on with the ace of wands here but in love maybe a new person all right now your partner um is a it could be an aries leo or sagittarius it could be um someone that's you know trying to do their own thing they're motivated maybe um they have a job they're you know doing different things to kind of maybe keep distracted you know um just trying to handle their business i feel for some of you out there and let me see the six of cups is in reverse for many of you out there so some of you have issues with letting go of the past um like moving on moving out letting go you're still holding on to a past person for some of you out there it just depends and maybe that's the frustration that's going on now let's clarify on the eight of wands reverse for taurus everybody eight of wands reverse for taurus which you're eight. Okay. And you have the page of wands so it's almost like some of you would like to either be friends with somebody or you're wanting your space um you wanted to do different things or another person is wanting to kind of have their freedom to do what they want to do with the page of wands being here 
So I feel like, and it could also be that someone has children, and that could be some of the frustration that's going on because someone is taking care of children. You know, the Page of Wands being there. Um, let's see. Here for the Five of Swords, Four of Cards. The Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is usually you're you're trying to reach your goals, but it may be a tussle kind of getting there. Maybe some of you are waiting for someone to kind of come back. But they're taking too long. Um, they could be kind of throwing obstacles in your way. Um, Clear find a five of swords again, four towers. Anger, you know, that anger and frustration is coming out, and it could be dealing with the Leo for some of you out there. All right. So I did pause really quickly. So let's see the um, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, four towers. Clear find the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, four towers. The Ace of Swords. So communication could have come through, um, either truth coming to you, or you're letting someone know the truth about a certain matter, and then you know you're trying to find clarity. I feel for some of you out there, but the way it's been said, you know, I'm trying to kind of absorb that information or the other person absorbing whatever is going on. Um, it could be a uh, frustrating for some of you. And let's clarify the Ace of Swords for Taurus. And the King of Pentacles is here, so it could be with another um, Taurus, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And um, it could be about money as well. Someone is needing space because they're working um, to kind of get a new job, maybe. All right. Uh, let's clarify the Ace of Swords again. Yeah, so someone, see, it's too, you know, it could be you, could be the other person. Someone is wanting attention. Uh, someone is wanting um you to come around, you're wanting someone to come around, but they may not be ready just yet, I feel for some of you out there. And let's clarify what's going on with your partner, your Taurus partner. Pretty sweet. Clarify Taurus partner. So even though on the fire sign, I was talking about how they're trying to focus on work and everything, and the Eight of Pentacles is coming out in reverse. So I feel like they may be focused on you so much or you know flipped around it's distracting when it comes to work matters um they could be doing a lot of different things but uh focusing on you know material things i feel um clarify the um king of wands in reverse i mean king of wands for Taurus. see there it's almost like they're um doing different things they're partying but they're having issues with focusing on work i feel that may be an issue that some of you are talking about and we just spoke about money i'm communicating about somebody getting a job or focusing more that could be some of the issues so i feel like that's what's coming through all right um clarify the six of cups reverse for taurus clarify the six of cups reverse for taurus yeah, feeling a bit broken, I feel. For some of you, if you had to move out, you've been you're going through a divorce, having issues with um, just moving on from someone um, because someone else that you could be dealing with is having issues from letting go of the past um, as well as you for some. Clear five to six of cups, reverse again for Taurus. Justice, and it could be um, either legal issues, karmic um, ties that you have with another person it could be with the Libra for some of you out there, but there is some kind of uh, maybe a, a soulmate connection. Clarify justice for Taurus. Yeah, and there are issues with healing. Yeah, I had to pause really quickly, but yes, some healing is definitely going on with you and someone else. So I feel like those issues are you know trying to be resolved, but they may not be resolved uh, just yet. Okay, so let's see from uh, the Romance Angels for this week. Uh, Taurus, let's see. Messages for Taurus from the Romance Angels. Messages for Taurus in love for January 8th to the 14th of 2017. Messages for Taurus in love January 8th to 2017. We have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together for many of you out there. Especially if you're kind of waiting for that person to come through. There are obstacles with you moving on from someone from the past. Uh, you know, it just depends. Messages for Taurus. For January 8th to the 14th of 2017. And then release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy um, for many of you out there. And I feel like that's why the Ten of Swords is in reverse with justice. That could be some issues that many of you are um, having with the releasing. So 
those are your messages for the week i do hope that they help you out lots of love to you lots of light and remember that if you would like a private or personal reading that you go to the website psychicglovehills.com to schedule something for you have a good one